Okay. Um, well, I'm going to start uh, with, I think, one of my favorite photos from the shoot today. Um, I just want to show the before and after of an edit, why you would pay uh, extra for an edit. Um, looking at this image, obviously, it's beautiful just the way it is, um, but there are ways to enhance it. Okay, here we are. There's a finished product. That is the absolute finished product. I want to show how we got here, why you would want to uh, purchase uh, an edit. Okay, so here's the before and here's the after. Okay, uh, even doing that with it zoomed in this much, it's, it's kind of difficult to see all the changes that were made to make this image. So we're going to start at the very beginning. And that is with uh, blemishes. So I'm going to get rid of these over here. Okay. The first thing I did was to go in and uh, remove any blemishes. And these gentlemen don't have very many of them. Um, but we did remove some. Okay, so. And that is what some of those look like. So that's, that's after. There's before. There's some here. Oops, sorry. Here, here. Uh, there's some speckles here, and there's there's really not a lot that I needed to do, honestly. It's not like a headshot, uh, which I actually did do some headshots of these gentlemen before. Um, so again, before and after, it's just little things like there's something up in here in the toe area, the hands, the arms here, and those were just disappeared. Okay, so uh, that is really basic. And again, the images from this far away, so uh, you may not notice these as much. Okay, so moving along, uh, probably the biggest change was the dodge and burn. And that is the difference there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. How about right there? Here is without and with. Uh, and dodge and burn again, and just darken some of the what's already dark and lighten what's already light. And it just creates a little bit more contrast. Uh, really makes the muscles stand out just a little bit more, especially when you are seeing this at a um, uh, further distance, as in this photo. Background fix. It did do a little bit. So there's some here, some here. We I softened up quite a bit. You can see the difference there. Uh, there it is. Without, with. Okay. Final curves. So this is pretty big too. This is just uh, again a uh, contrast. Um, there it's added. There it's without. There it's added. Uh, again, it just kind of um, increases the shadows. The shadows are darker. The the highlights are brighter. Um, just makes them stand out a little bit more against the background as well. Okay, and then we have the curves here. So the face, he's upside down. He's been upside down for quite some while while I'm taking these photos. So uh, Justin's face is a little red. Uh, so we took some of that out. I took the redness out, but in taking the redness out, um, I'll show you what I did. I brought the reds in a curves layer, brought the reds down. By bringing the reds down, that kind of brought the overall exposure down. So we need to bring that all back up again. And that's what I did in the second layer. So there is without, there's with. So here's the before, the red, and the um, bringing up the um, brightness completely. And there's the after. And again, it just kind of blends in more with the rest of his body, just so it's not quite so red. Okay. Uh, lastly, or not lastly, there's a few more steps here. Um, we, his feet, his feet are a little orange. He's been walking around the floor, gym floor for a while. So this is what we have. Um, so they're a little orange, um, and I again I took I took some of that out, brought down um, the reds again, and brought up the blues. I think I brought down the greens, but uh, it just kind of made the feet a little less orange, so they stand out a little bit less, blend more into the image. Um, and then we have the difference in skin tones here uh, between Thomas and Justin. Um, Justin's a little bit closer to the camera. And that changes everything as well. So he's going to be a little bit brighter. Um, and Thomas is a little bit further away. So he's going to be a little bit darker. Uh, but I would really want them to kind of match. You know, they're kind of melding together here. And I want to uh, have that be so in the image as well. And so I took out some of the reds in Thomas as well here, as you can see. 
Um, I think I'd probably go in again. And there's still a little bit of pink redness that I might take out of here. Just to kind of make it match a little bit more. But there's before. It's like two different people. And after. Much more uh, matched. Okay. And then I added another layer of contrast here. Uh, using a Nike uh, plugin. A Nike Silver FX Pro. Probably my favorite plugin. I use it almost on all of my images. But again, that just adds another level of contrast that I really like. And then lastly, um, this just got rid of some of the background things that were bothering me. Like here, there's a clip that's keeping the uh, background together. Got rid of that. Um, I think even even though I did this earlier, there's still some things that were kind of bothering me um, oops, with uh, the background. And I got rid of some of those blemishes as well. Ah, there we go. Yep. Up in here. Okay, and then on the floor as well. And I might still do the same thing down here, right there, right about there. I think I'll get rid of some. But that's what it started out as. And we took those out. So again, there is kind of the, the finished product there. Uh, but you know, it's really not even finished there. So I'll we'll close out of that. I will uh, open this up in uh, Lightroom. And um, it's still a little bright down here. I don't want it to be quite so bright down here. Um, I'm going to go down here to the post cropping uh, vignette. And I'll bring that vignette down even more, make the gentleman stand out a little bit more. And I'll also come up here and grab an adjustment brush and um, level this all out, bring the exposure down just a little bit. And I think I'll paint that in just a little bit here. Okay, and bring that down so that the floor doesn't stand out quite so much. It's really more about uh, the athletes and performers here. So here is a finished product. And I always say, again, I always say, you know, this is what an edit costs, and I don't really explain what that means, so hopefully this will help a little bit. Again, here is the after. And let me go back to the before. And this uh, is out of the camera there. So again, out of the camera here. and the finished product before and after.